<laughs> You're a crazy dog, you know that? to go into surgery with Mondo. He is an eight month old French bulldog who has had progressive kind of weakness in his back limbs. And he had an MRI yesterday and that MRI showed that he's got what's called a subarachnoid cyst. And that's a accumulation of fluid uh, kind of on the top part of the spinal cord which really this fluid should flow nicely up and down and all around the cord. But in this case, there's kind of a pocket or a pouch that allows fluid to build up there. And that means that the spinal cord then gets compressed in that area. And so I'm gonna go in and do surgery to open up that pocket and allow that fluid that's building up to drain. And hopefully over time, he'll start to walk a little bit better. Uh, it's something that we see happen in young dogs. And so you wanna to try to address it surgically when they're young enough that they will improve over time. So in dog, a lot of muscle that protects your spine, so I have to kind of make my way down through that muscle to get to uh, the top of the spinal cord, spinal canal, before I can actually start to drill away the bone to get to the area where I need to be. So a lot of these approaches take a bit longer, it's just all the muscle a lot more than in the lower back. This is the spinous process of T6, and T7 was here, and T8 was here, and I've removed them, leaving this top part intact to try to help maintain some uh, good kind of stability of the spine. I don't want it to be too unstable. Then I need to drill down this part to get to the spinal cord. 